Hi there, Carrie here with the Muskegon County Library System. Today we're going to be challenging your creativity. How you ask? Well, each week I'll be giving you a new challenge to do at home, and then you'll be sending us that in a submission so we can share it with our community. At the end of the month, the person who receives the most votes on their artwork will be receiving a prize. Check out our description on our website if you haven't yet for more information. The first challenge is creating yourself as a cartoon character. So head on over to that mirror or a camera you can be yourself in and grab those art supplies. I'm going to show you how I do mine, but please make this project your own. You don't have to use any certain supplies. Just make what represents you best. Let's get drawing, shall we? I normally start with the head and do a lighter sketch of where I want the eyes and mouth to go. Then I outline the body so I can add details later. For this cartoon, I'm going to make my eyebrows visible despite having very light eyebrows and my hair a little bit less unruly, but just as big and orange. For me, I would like to have cat ears on my hat. I think it's the one thing that's missing from it, honestly. I really enjoy cartoons, which is why I chose to do this as our first challenge. It allows you to exaggerate the things we like best about ourselves and minimize those we don't. I grew up loving to draw cartoons and trying out different styles, so you can sort of see some of those influences from those in my cartoon today. While I'm drawing, I'd like you to look in the mirror and think about what you find most interesting about what you see. What are your favorite features? For me, I love my eyes, so I always make them huge. Well, my nose is nearly non-existent. If you are struggling with a detail, my suggestion is to either simplify it or skip it and come back to it later. You can see I added a dragon. That's because if I were a cartoon character, I would want a dragon to play with along with my silly kitty cat ears, and a few other details that I don't really have in real life. You can see the colors I chose for my character are my favorite colors. So gray for my eyes because they are gray. I love the color purple and green if you couldn't tell by my outfit today. And of course, I have some orange for my hair and ears because I like big ginger cats.
As you can see, some of the sets of markers didn't turn out quite as nice as I'd like, and my dragon has kind of a foggy appearance. But that's okay, I still think he's cute, and I'd still throw a snowball at him. Here's my finished product. As you can see, I finished filling in a few of the details. She may not look exactly like me, but she's certainly acting like me. I would definitely be throwing a snowball if I were a cartoon. All right, well, thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing your artwork.